What's up everybody? It's a boy Beam here. Uh, for breakfast, I had a uh, cheese bagel with jalapenos. Um, and for dinner, we had these, like, like, they're like beans with black dots on them. I forgot what they're called, but we had them in like, in like sloppy joe type um, context. Um, and instead of meat, it was like those, those beans. Um, and you know, they're actually, they're actually pretty good. Um, I enjoyed them. Um, and it's apparently something you're supposed to have on every January 1st, like on every new year. Uh, it's 2023, which is crazy. And all day I've just been doing computer stuff. Uh, number one, um, since, you know, to rain in the new year, I did some computer stuff. Uh, so now, uh, my top bar up here is a little transparent. It's not blurred because I haven't figured that out, but yeah, I'm in my poly bar a little transparent. And, uh, you know, I added some shadow to the side here, uh, to like windows. And uh, also it's like blurred in the background now, which is, which is pretty cool. Um, and also whenever you open up the terminal, it uh, has the date and time now, because I like that. I think that's also cool. Um, the reason why I didn't have all this before is because um, up until now, I didn't have a compositor. Uh, cause I never really needed one, uh, which is, you know, what's nice about Arch Linux. Oh, my, my trumpet's back there. Sorry. I literally didn't realize it. I was practicing earlier. I'm sorry. I literally forgot it was there. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I hadn't had a compositor cause I didn't really need one, but I was like, man, you know, to rain in the new year, I should get a compositor to do some compositor things. And now, now it's pretty good. That's my parents show in the back. I'm sorry. Uh, so the things I've been figuring out today is, yeah, you know, um, I um, just started using this new YouTube downloader. It's like instead of YouTube DL, it's like YouTube DL like plus kind of. Um, and the reason why is because, you know, despite being connected to Ethernet, I was having lots of very strange issues with the speed of my downloads uh, for the YouTube videos because I had actually finished moving my entire YouTube video collection over. I was having strange issues moving, like downloading new videos. And uh, I was super slow even though I was connected. And so I looked it up, uh, they're like, oh, you should use this and stuff. I was like, okay. And so I'm using it, it's way faster. Um, you know, so I'm pretty happy about that. I don't know if there's some elephant or something happening in my, in my parents' show, it was crazy. But, um, you know, then once I did that, um, you know, it's still downloading new YouTube videos now, but it's way faster than on my computer. And this is the main reason why I got the NAS server. Uh, so then I would download YouTube videos way faster. And, you know, if I have my download script running once a month, uh, by the end of the month, the old script would still be running. And so then you'd have two scripts running at the same time and it would be very buggy and weird. Uh, the second thing that I've been working on is um, this. So I have um, a bunch of screenshots, uh, Minecraft screenshots. I have around 10,600 uh, that span all the way back to 2015 and I have this big collection of them. So uh, I was like, man, this, this thing at like 80 or so gigabytes, I'm going to move this to the NAS server. This is a good thing to move over. But once I moved it over, I had realized, oh, um, I have this very uh, particular naming scheme. Let me, let me bring it up really fast. Yeah, I have this, I have this very, I have this very particular naming scheme uh, where I have the year, the month, the, the day, the hour, the minute, the second, and then the millisecond, which doesn't actually exist in these older ones because Windows doesn't really store milliseconds, but Linux does. So on the new ones, you have the millisecond, and that's mainly just to prevent duplicate files and stuff. But anyway, um, I, there, I would always have this issue where, let me let me bring this up. Um, yeah, where despite running the script all the time, I would still have these old, mi like this is how Minecraft formats the screenshot names, and I would still have these, and I'm like, why, why do I still have these? It was very, very strange to me. And, uh, you know, if you're very, very smart, you may notice what the issue is already. Um, but, you know, the problem was, was, okay, okay. So, you know, I had had programmed this little script to um, make it so that it would go, like, I, I, I basically remade the script and I was like, hey, check all of these files. If they don't follow the format of year, month, day, hour, uh, minute, second, millisecond, then change it to that, you know? And of course I had a backup of the directory and everything and I did that. And once I had ran it, everything had worked. There were no files with weird, you know, Minecraft file names like these. But the thing I had realized was that I had like, like, like 300 less files in the directory. And I was like, where, where did these 300 pictures go? And I thought it was very strange. 
So, turns out the issue was, um, since these files are, um, oh, it looks like this finished moving over. Uh, since these files um, don't have millisecond values stored with them, uh, if multiple files, if multiple screenshots are taken within the same second, right, um, those files would disappear because the because they're all the same named file. Like they all have like the same second value, you know, right there. And that's the reason why I had added milliseconds. So then if two screenshots were taken in the same second, they could still both be moved over. But since those don't have millisecond values stored, um, they can't, um, uh, they just get overwritten and they're just, they're, the files are just deleted, right? And uh, so now I know why, um, no matter what, why those files wouldn't change. It's because it was preventing me from my own my own stupidity. I don't know what was preventing me. I don't know what sort of background process prevented these files from being deleted. But, um, you know, luckily these files, um, they are still here. And I'm, and I'm happy I have them. And I'm happy I know why, like what the issue is. So, so I'm happy about that. I don't know if that made any sense. I've also been trying to figure out this thing called... Um, this um this docker container called icloud pd which is supposed to connect to your icloud account and then sync the photos on your phone to the to like your nas server um and i was trying to trying to work that out i'm having this weird issue though i don't know i've had a like there are a couple people who have the same issue online i've tried to their fixes they haven't worked i don't know what the issue is it's a little weird i can't really talk about it to you guys because that has to do with like my password so you know um but yeah aside from that um, you know, I guess it's been a rather busy computer day, but, um, you know, not, not too busy functionally. You know, I've, I've just been kind of busy, uh, you know, first day of 2023 is at a strong start. I'm just, I'm just setting up stuff with my NAS server. I'm just doing things, you know, how it is. I'm happy. Um, I wonder what this is. I, I popped a, a zit here. So that's why there's a spot on my face. Um, yeah, I got work tomorrow from four to six, which is a two hour shift. Very strange. Um, but you know, yeah. All right. Um, oh, also, I got my, uh, my tassel for graduation. Um, you know, I actually don't know if I can show you guys this, because it may have a thing related to my school on it. I keep talking about how I keep getting these things for graduation, and then I don't show you guys, so I apologize for that. But, you know, maybe when I'm out of school, I can show you guys, I don't know. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I hope everybody has a good day. I hope everybody has a good January 1st. And, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. All right. See you, dude.